Hey, lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of LA Noir. Dude, if you don't like my driving, feel free to drive yourself, okay? All right, all right. There, <laughs> there's a ride in Disney World called Carousel of Progress, and one of the lines is it, now that gets to the core of the apple. Like, I just freaking love it. Yeah, I know, but I done f***ed up, game. I done f***ed up. I don't know what to tell ya. Alrighty, lightweights, before we get into the actual video for today, um, I wanted to go and react to something that I missed in the last video that a bunch of you were disappointed that I missed. Leave it to me, typical lightweight fashion, to miss an interview that everyone wanted to see. <laughs> But it wouldn't be a lightweight video if I didn't do something like that. Uh, so we are going to be reacting to the um, interrogation for the console, I think it is. <laughs> um, and you guys seem pretty interested in my reaction, so I have a feeling this is going to be a doozy. So without further ado, let's watch the doozy. Here we go. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General. I <laughs> insist on my full title. Okay. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Hmm. I would have said doubt for that one. What's that look? I bought a Packard, Valles. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Don't tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. <laughs> Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consular garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flawed unfortunately we don't do that here your worship <laughs> see i've been tempted to say truth there but i probably would have you have out. a pretty good idea who stole the car don't you consul general are you going to tell me or do i shake it out of you oh. there's no call for violence i suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership you have a name for this kid gabriel like the archangel I have no surname. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mechanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. I would have said doubt for that one, too. I don't know. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. I totally did not even pick Gabriel, up on that in that journal. Spill it. <gasps> a beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch. Console Good general. old Cole Phelps. Badge number 1247. Always getting to the core of the apple. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Just call him out like that. A slip of the tongue. Phelps, Bukowski. Beat cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on! Sorry to inconvenience you. 
We're on it, Captain. All right, so. You guys gave me lots. I swear the more bent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate, romantic type like you, Cole? <laughs> I don't believe a word of it. You guys give me lots of um, tips in the comments. Um, going the wrong way. Where do I go? This way? Yeah, okay. Um, I had already, I'd recorded the first three videos, like, pretty much back to back to back, so, um, you guys had given me tips, but I wasn't able to implement them until now. Uh, so I'll try to point out all of the things. The first thing being, you guys told me I could change my outfit. So I'm gonna do that. Let's go to one number one. Okay. Sword of Justice! <laughs> the City of Angels is much more dangerous by night. I really like that. That's very dapper. Hi, Patrol. The Golden Boy. Not a fan of the Golden Boy. The Broderick. Hit harder and take more punches before going down. Oh, wait. Do they actually have help? Like, do these actually help us? I'm not a fan of the look of this one compared to the Sword of Justice one, but, you know, hitting harder and taking more punches could be good. The Sharpshooter. Shoots straighter with a Garand and a Colt 45. So I like the look of the Sword of Justice the best, but I feel like the Broderick actually has something that will help us. So we're going to go with that one. Nice. Okay. You also told me that if I drive the Beat Cop car, um... You're behind the wheel. If I drive the Beat Cop car, it won't turn the radio on for me, but I will still be able to hear all of the... Like pop up We're calling crimes. her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? But Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having your death strewn all over the front pages. I love those conversations. They're so cool. Um, and you also broke down the good cop, bad cop accuse. And the way you broke it down makes much more sense. So let's see if I can do better with the questions That's now the that I understand call. that. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Oh my god. Don't you hear my siren? Pull over! I was talking... Oh shit. I was talking to that... Uh, Lay into his wheel arches. Big Come truck, on. not the green car. Obviously the green car is fleeing from us and it's not going to pull over. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Dude, if you don't like my driving, feel free to drive yourself, okay? All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. A couple Get miles over the speed limit? Out of the car limit. now. It in. Give it up, LAPD. Why no did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Coombs Automotive Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Okay. Sorry for the trash. Um... I guess we'll just go in order. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. I mean, he had the paperwork, so yes. And the ownership papers? Are from the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced.
Okay, I don't really know what I should be looking at on this, but... You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No! Nothing like that! Then why did you run? So, good cop means we believe him, he's telling the truth. Bad cop is, we know he's lying, but we don't have evidence for it. Accused is, we know he's lying, and we have the proof that he's lying. I don't think we have any proof that this guy has a record, but he's also running from us for a reason. Which means I'm gonna do bad cop? You better give us something quick, Okay. or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because, because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Quinn? Wacky, wacky. One briefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. <laughs> wacky backy. Okay, vehicle purchase details. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. I don't know why he would lie about that. So, especially because he showed us the paperwork. Um... Should I check and see if we can see? I don't think I can see on there who he actually worked with, but I don't think he would lie about that. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Okay. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. All right, um... You drive. Can you drive to this one? You don't, do you have any idea who my dad is? Sorry, I just I remembered that I need to do something, so I'm making myself a note before I forget. So <laughs> ignore me for a second. <laughs> Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Sorry, I just, um, I don't know. You guys probably don't care what my note is about, but I'm an oversharer, damn it. So I'm going to share. Detective Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? Where do I know this <laughs> guy Coombs, from? We're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. It's not Very funny. amusing, Mr. Coon. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? That's it's in weird. my office. Walk this way. <laughs> Dude thinks he's Willy That's Wonka. That's a joke, too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. You got my permission. Go right ahead. <laughs> um, anyways, there is this website that you use as a content creator where you can apply for game keys if you want to do stuff. And anyways, my account got messed up and I had reached out to support and they told me I need there to do is. something in 24 hours. Got the hours. original pink slip there, too. And I haven't done it yet, so <laughs> I need to make a note so that when I'm done recording this, I remember to do it. Gene Archer. Gene Archer. So that means... 46 North Fremont Avenue. That means Gene Archer was the one who sold the car, correct? To this place. Richard Coombs, Coombs Automotive. Okay. Sure. It seems like it's on the up and up. No. No, no. No, no. This one. And what is this? This is... 
Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. Okay. So this means the other guy bought his legitimately. So how deep does this go then? Because this is legit. I do not know. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Shit. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. That, I mean, I've got no reason to assume that was a lie. Nothing unusual okay. about the car. <sighs> Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. <laughs> Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Excuse me. So do I just go in order or should now I do the check payment details because that's just popped up? Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Again, I have no reason to think you're lying about that. What was your impression of her? <laughs> kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. This is just like so stressful because I never know if what I'm doing is right. And you're just like waiting with bated breath to see. Association with Marquis. Shit, what's Marquis? Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Again, I feel like that's the truth. I don't know. Like, he probably just buys the papers from somewhere. I don't think he would know, like... It says Marquis Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquis. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Okay. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. So now he's seeming sketchy. Every other time he's been cool as a cucumber and now he's like looking all around. But is that because he's trying to remember if he actually did it on Friday? So now I'm like, okay, bad cop or accuse? Are you, do I have proof that you're lying to me? Or do I just think you're lying to me and I need to suss it out some more? Or does your look mean nothing? So let's look at our freaking notes. So we've got the check. Can we see when it was made? Check for a used vehicle made payable to Gene Archer. So we don't have any proof. So I'm gonna go bad cop. Why didn't oh, you pay a cash? Oh my god. You knew the car was dirty. <laughs> I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. <sighs> okay, this is really stressful because now I've gotten every single question right for both of these interviews. And it's like, okay, when does it go downhill from here? This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Um, back up. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. Yeah, I just love the, the phrases that they had back then. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Um, there, <laughs> there's a ride in Disney World called Carousel of Progress, and one of the lines is it, now that gets to the core of the apple. Like, I just freaking love it. Why don't we say stuff like that anymore? 
is about as sharp as a bowling ball? Are you kidding me? I love it. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Messages, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks. Okay. Um, so now it's like, where do I go next? Because last time I didn't go to a place then wasn't able to go there because I like solved the case without going there. So should I go to the police station? Maybe I should go to this address first that was on the pink slip. Because then if there's some evidence here, then maybe I can use that with the guy at the police station. I don't even know who that dude is. You drive. You're behind the wheel. So I'm just going to go to that address we first and see if we can find any evidence. Here's a egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car salesmen. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line just to get the hell out of there. I feel like there are certain jobs that media always portrays to be a bunch of assholes or like that media doesn't like. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. Okay, so it's a good thing we've been able to go to the station. See what this Belasco guy has to say. But anyways, um, I need to get out of this car before I get demonetized. Um. Car, used car salesmen, or just car salesmen in general, are always portrayed as sketchy assholes. Bankers are always portrayed as assholes. And teachers are always in a bad light. Always. Detectives, always. Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Okay. I don't even know who this dude is. Another stolen car with legit papers, but I got no, I got no clues. I got no evidence. Let me hunt for clues we'll somewhere. Second later tonight. Did you just call James me a crummy Belasco? bastard? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. The paper James is Belasco. real enough, Velasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. 146 North Fremont. Wait, 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 wait. That's... That's the same address. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. How do I fake address? What was the fake address? Gina, shit, but what was the address? Can I see the locations? Hey, I got more to say. I want to look at my locations. Fuck, I think it was 140s. I think it was the same address. Okay, we'll start with the first one. We're Where just going to start with the first car, one. James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. <sighs> this is so hard. He seems really sketchy. He seems really sketchy. Okay, we're going to do bad cop. We definitely don't have evidence to accuse him of anything. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at 10 years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Okay, so I think with this one, I'll be able to connect him to Archer using the fake address. 
but I can't make sure that the address is actually the same. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Fuck. Nope. Never heard of her. Okay. Where do my, I'm sorry, my stomach is so loud right now. Fake address. Can I see what the fake address is though? Oh God, I hope this is. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. Fuck, fuck, this is gonna be my first one wrong, isn't it? This is gonna be my first one wrong! So that's why you both have the same address printed <laughs> on your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus, all right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? Are you happy now? Okay, guys. I'm doing so well! Okay, thank you for explaining. It's making the world of difference so far, and I know at some point I'm gonna fuck it up and fuck it up big time, but right now it's helping. It is helping. Also, it's kind of bullshit that we can't see what the fake address was. Like, I just had to remember that. On my own. The straight dope. Use evidence to prove a lie. Nice. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. Fuck. <laughs> um. Shit. Okay, well, I definitely can't accuse him because I don't have proof for anything over state lines. But does he actually not know or does he know? I don't know. Fuck it, I'm going bad cop. You're sketchy. You've been lying to me. Give me something, Belasco, or I'll take you back yes. to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Stolen vehicles warehoused. Where do you pick up the cars, Belasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. Okay, so now, again, I can't accuse him because I don't have evidence, but I feel like at this point he's in, he's telling us the truth, so I feel like that's good cop. Come on, Belasco. Oh. You must have an address. That's not the way they work. They keep moving around. Never the same address twice. All right, Should have known with him. We're going to check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. Damn it! Why did I not do bad cop? There's bad thoughts, cop for everything right? else. Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightvol, Gordon Lightvol. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Okay, but we kind of already knew that from the car dealer. Damn it, why did, I'm so mad at myself. Why did I not do bad cop when literally he'd been lying to us and not telling us the whole truth the entire time? Fuck. Okay, so can I also talk to the other dude here? Like, why is this still up? Door knocking all morning, but I gotta make in the car in the end. Can I go talk to the other guy that we sent downtown? Phelps, your GTA suspect Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Okay, um, should I actually run? 
Oh, the PlayStation is done now. Okay. Come on, I feel like I should drive. Loser. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck. Looks like it's behind me. Oh yeah, I probably could have actually run. <laughs> oh well. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Okay, so... Obviously, it's not good, cop. But we don't have evidence to prove that the paperwork is sketchy somewhere down the road. Right? Bad cop? <laughs> Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. Okay, hopefully this one's easier because we know they know each other. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? Okay, so let's check the notebook. Do we do the pink slips again? Or do we do Belasco's ownership paper? Fuck, okay, but what evidence do we use? So we can do the fake address because she used it and he used it. Legitimate pink slips made out to James Belasco of 146 North Fremont. So maybe Belasco's ownership papers? Oh my god, I don't know. So it's either Belasco's Can we ownership papers over with. Bitch. I'm thinking. Either Belasco's ownership papers or the fake address. I feel like it's got to be the fake address, but I don't fucking know. But we're accusing her regardless. Lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Oh. Well, I'm sure of it. <laughs> anyway, I don't know him. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There's multiple things with the address on it that can connect them, but which is the correct multiple thing? Um, I don't know, 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 I don't know. You aren't sharp enough to lie to me, Jean. You and James Velasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. Who's Bigelow? Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? How do you not remember? Bad cop. Trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. 
Now, you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. <laughs> Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. <laughs> okay. I've only gotten one wrong so far, I think. That's not bad! It's amazing what actually understanding what the different things means. How helpful that actually is. <laughs> and my stomach confirms is agreeing with me. All right. We're getting a lot of achievements today. Femme imbecile. <laughs> I'm like a freaking rock star now. Okay, so do we go to the printing company or do we go to Industrial Street? I guess maybe the printing company will give us more insight for the Industrial Street one. Or will the Industrial Street one give us more insight for the Marquee Printing Company? Fuck. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna go Marquee first. I don't know. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. You know the way. You can drive. Maybe we'll... F I don't... Friendly I just girl. feel like the Used other to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. Pfft, I know that. My type is my wife. You're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh... I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all! Now we're getting somewhere. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line at gray. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. Anything the standards with are the only as high as the last fine with me. Oh my god. Dude. Anyways, I feel like the last address, since we know that the criminals are there, is probably the last one we need to go to. I don't know, though. Fuck. There's still no music. I want to find clues. I want to find sure, evidence. Pal. I'm busy. All right. Fine. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Okay. So should I talk to this dude? Like, why did it stop that conversation? Does that mean I should go here and then come back? Maybe this dude's the brains of the operation, but he doesn't actually do the sketchy deeds here. So maybe we should go to the industrial street place and then come back and then we'll have evidence to be like, boom, you've done it. You're the brains. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird that they stopped that conversation. So I guess I'll come back here if I need to. You can drive. Probably fuck this up, but you know, that's okay. Not the end of the world if I did, I suppose. I think we should call for a couple of black and whites. Get Fleischer down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there.
Why are we going in guns blazing? We know they're going to shoot us? I'm so hungry. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. I think so, huh? Look sharp, it's the cops! Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Let me see if I can put one between your eyes. Uh. Pretty brave for a death. Do I need to get headshots for my shooting accuracy, or is body shots? I got some cover here for the love of God. Our body shots okay. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'm oh fuck! They're hitting me. You, that dude's got a big gun. I got you, Phil. Throw out the guns. I lost my hat again. Oh fuck. <laughs> Dude needs a new line. Your move. Okay, got him. Pretty brave for a dead man. As soon as he pokes his head out, we step on. Where is this guy that's talking? Covering fire! Oh, oh, wait, what? I'm gonna go around this way. Maybe. Oh, I can't get cover on there? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. This is annoying. <laughs> Pick up weapon. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, this is gonna mess up my accuracy rating, that's for sure. You, Can you stick your head up, please? Like your whole body, not just your arm? Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. Okay, I don't like this gun. How do I change guns? I want to go back to my, my pistol. Oh fuck. oh, fuck! Try the door at the end. I heard something. Should I pick up the shotgun? We're gonna be in close quarters. Alright, alright, don't shoot! Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. <gasps> Finally! Marquee, Marquee Printing Company. Printing. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. So he gave them these? Is that what that means? A betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. So he's paying off his debts with the pink slips? enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Now what? Racing for pinks? We've got a trail of pink All slips right. and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck. I can't I believe his name is Bigelow. Charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. We know about Marquee Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Okay, so do we do the lie and then do the betting slips? Fuck. 
fuck. The delivery no- See, this is where it's really hard. Like, I know he's lying and I know I have the evidence for it, but what evidence is it? Do we need, so we need to connect him to the marquee printing Gordon Lightvault guy. So I feel like the betting slips are the way to do that, but the delivery note and the pink slips show that he had contact with them, but I guess those could potentially be like legit. So maybe the betting slips, oh fuck, I don't know, man. Don't lie to me. I'm not in the mood for any more lies. The slips are the real deal, and I ordered them from Marquis. This is gonna be wrong. I want a mouthpiece. Yep. The organization employs a very good one. It does a great job of keeping Mickey C out on the streets. I should have just done bad cop. Fuck. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. Fuck. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, copper. I just watched you tear my place up. Damn it! <laughs> oh, man. But I guess now I can go back to the other place and I can prove something, maybe. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> ah! It's like so painful when you get one wrong because you know that you're missing out on crucial information. You drive. I need to go over the case. Oh now. man, it's like what? What did I not get now because I got that wrong? Fuck. What a mess. Ugh. Gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, I shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the bare-faced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and then pleads innocence the next. It's yeah, true. especially when he's surrounded by evidence. You know, guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. Honestly, they could have if that one chick didn't try to sell her car. None of this probably would have come to light. Like maybe the one guy would have been the one that got brought in. Um, the one with the B that knows the girl, that's the driver. He probably would have been brought in, but it probably would not have gotten all the way up here because we wouldn't have had the other connections. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. Harassment? We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. So is this where I do the betting slips? Fuck! Or do I just do bad cop? Oh my god, I don't know. This is so, so stressful. I'm gonna do the betting slips. Save it, Lightvol. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Shit, 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 shit. You're in the hole with the organization. God. You know about the debts, Lightvol. I agree, I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need- You need to shut up now, Lightvol. <laughs> Gordon Lightvol, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. 
traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the They're scene. So the proud LAPD that they them. sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, Again, will you? Phelps is the only one that gets credit. Stefan is just like riding our coattails. Gets no acknowledgement. Oh, a slip of the tongue. Clues found 16 out of 18. Those are the two questions I got wrong. Damn it. Four stars, though. Four stars, though. Bigelow might be a hood, but he had the dirt on Lightfall and would have flipped if encouraged. Yeah, I know, but I done fucked up, game. I done fucked up. I don't know what to tell ya. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. Definitely doesn't seem like the best commander. He doesn't seem to care about the correct things. All right, guys, I am going to stop there. So obviously I didn't get perfect, but that's okay. That's to be expected. It's my first playthrough, but all of your explanations for the good cop, bad cop accuse clearly really helped. Um, so thank you for that. It is, I know I've said this a bunch during this video, but it is so stressful. It is so stressful, especially when you have evidence, but you're not quite sure if it's the evidence that you need, like with Bigelow. I knew I had evidence to prove that he was lying, but it wasn't the correct evidence that I needed, so I should have just done bad cop. So that is gonna be particularly difficult, I already know. And then the order with which you go to these places is also crucial. And if you don't know the order, it's like, it sucks. So it's kind of nice that when we went to the marquee place and I talked to that guy, it just like auto stopped the conversation is kind of like a clue. Like, are you sure you want to keep asking questions? Um, so that was kind of helpful. <laughs> uh, so I guess I will try to pay attention to that in the future. Um, but knowing which order to go to these places is really hard because I feel like if I hadn't gone to the address on the pink slip that ended up being fake. I never would have been able to make that connection with the guy that was the driver because we only knew the address was fake because we went there. So like if I didn't go there first, I wouldn't have had that branch to like accuse him of stuff. So it was just freaking luck. I feel like anytime I get things right, it's just blind luck in this game. Um, the only thing I did not like about this mission, this mission was cool. There's a lot of layers and I definitely had fun with it, but I particularly love when I have a spot and I'm walking around trying to find clues and I did not get to do that at all this, this, um, investigation besides for the two things I was able to find in Bigelow's room. So I hope that we're not getting away from that because I really, 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 really love the trying to find the clues and being able to piece things together on my own before I talk to people and trying to have some general understanding of what's going on before I talk to people. Not that it really helps, but I like to do that. That's what's fun for me. And I didn't really feel like I was able to do that at all today in this investigation. So hopefully there's not a ton that are like that. Um, but in terms of ranking the investigations, I would say this one was not my favorite because of that. Um, but that being said, it was cool how layered the story was. Rockstar does an amazing job. Well, I know that Rockstar didn't actually, it doesn't matter, but whoever actually made this game, I think Rockstar just published it, but it was not, now I don't even know what I'm saying. They did a great job with the layers of the stories. That's what I'm trying to get at, okay? Um, so yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. It was really cool. It was hurting my brain. I had no idea what was going on like 99% of the time. And I definitely just got lucky 99.99% .99 of the time. 
so I'm gonna take it, but don't expect me to be that good always because shit, that was just, <laughs> I felt like half the time I was just playing eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and I was like, okay, I know it's not good cop, but I don't know, like eeny, meeny, miny, mo between bad cop and accused, I'm like, I have no fucking idea. But your guys' tips really helped me with that, so thank you so much for that, I really appreciate it. I had a ton of fun, I hope you did too. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do, so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.